Okay, so I'm back at the swamps. The way this works is... We got fucked over by a bug, right? So it's only fair that we win, or rather just walk through by using a bug. Or perhaps a developer's feature that they did not leave obvious, of course, because maybe it was like an ease of access during the developer stage or whatever. Either way, there is a very sneaky way past the bridge. And I will show you exactly how to get there. The sneaky beaky hole here doesn't just hide uh, the best detector of artifacts in the entire game on the first level. It also hides, um, I don't know whether it's a bug or a feature for developers, but it hides a pathway which we will use to get where we need to go. I'm gonna get some rads here, I'm gonna try to um, not use too many anti-rads before we need them. somewhere here this yep quick save here And now we're run. Well, while we're on, I guess, um... I've been playing for um, many years, and the thing I've noticed about Stalker is that bugs don't exactly feel out of place in this game, in the sense that unless you are falling through the map or something absolutely retarded happens, like out of this world retarded, they actually sort of fit in, because the zone is unnatural, weird, and just incomprehensible unless you witness it. How do you explain what an anomaly is? Well, let's pretend we're actually in the world of Stalker. How do you explain to the outsider what is an anomaly? Like a gravitational anomaly. How do you explain what happens? A, a cloud of nothing picks you up, starts spinning you, then throws you up and tears you apart? That sounds weird. But when you come here and witness it, and get used to it, it, it becomes normal, like the rain or the, you know, like the weather in our world. It's, it feels like the weather. So in a sense, the anomalies are just a part of the regular life, the weather, the environment. Like, in the real life, you don't want to fall through ice, you don't want to, you know, step into a deep puddle. etc. So, yeah. And these bugs that I'm talking about, it's like, you know, 
the zone is sort of it, it's it's not ortho, it, it's unorthodox the way I'm doing this. But who said it has no right to exist in this world that we have? Who said that this way has no right to exist? Nobody. It's just like those anomalies. They are weird, they're strange. Incomprehensible normally, but nonetheless, they exist. And perhaps there's a kind of teleportational anomaly which is very common in stalker universe and is actually not just made up it's in the game especially I first seen in clear sky that one big bubble over the bridge where the military are on cordon there is a teleport there And even though we're sort of breaking out of the box of this level, of this location, because we are literally outside of it, even though there is um, ground and land, like texture, it's more done so that we can see like through. It's basically part of level design. Not playable though unless you know how to get on it and have a reason to do so, you know? So here we are. Boom! Guess where we are. We are on the other side. Let's make a save here because I'm not sure where to step without getting thrown back to some other level. You can actually see some more things here, like... Designs of buildings and all that. It's pretty cool. Is this guy gonna keep shooting again? Yep, you're actually right, you... ...made it so that all the fucking mercs are dead. So from this point on, you're not really going to be able to lower the bridge, but the script works as such that um, you, you can just probably go through here and then it will be as if you lowered the bridge. Yep, that pretty much works. So that's it. 